now January 2022 and this is my 2006 first generation Honda Insight and I have green tech coming here uh, to install a new IMA battery nickel uh, cadmium battery in the back I read about how to do it and um, it seemed fairly straightforward but it also could be fairly dangerous if you don't know what you're doing and I certainly don't know what I'm doing so green tech which is a national company has uh, centers around the US they cover about 80 85 percent of the continental US and um, so he's supposed to be coming today from Washington DC which is about three and a half hours away uh, to take out the old and put in the new um, they do that service for $350 and you pay about $1,700 for a, a reconditioned battery and they take this one away and uh, and turn it into another battery. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe selling this car because I don't drive it anymore. Um, might put it on bring a trailer, not quite sure. Uh, that's one reason why this battery went, went bad is because the car set for uh just about a year maybe a little longer due to COVID and and my retirement and blah 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 so this has been a lovely car over the years so we're waiting on green tech to get here now over here is the stuff i've pulled out uh of the car to get it ready uh for the technician well i think this is appropriate <laughs> look what the green tech guy showed up man <laughs> He says we often use, he says we, these are our fleet vehicles, we use them to test new batteries and stuff, and batteries that we build. The back of your sweatshirt looks just like your website logo. Yeah, they'll be getting new ones all the time because they're adding new locations. It yeah. Seems like every couple of months. How long have you been working with them? So I've been with the company for almost five years now. Wow. Okay, that's a long time. Because this is a fairly new company, right? Um, I'd say around eight, nine years, yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, the whole enterprise in setting all this up has been very smooth. Yeah, we try to make it as easy as possible. There's that big breaker switch that I read about. Everybody said, do that first. Yeah, so that's the turn the battery it turns the hybrid system off yes so you are missing two tens out here here's one. Oh, fell off i appreciate you letting me take pictures of this oh yeah it's no problem at all How many of these you have to do today? Oh, this will be the only one for today. Oh, good, good. <laughs> so typically we'll try to schedule, if we have a job on the road like this, we'll try to schedule a couple that are in the same area, but this was the only one out here. Yes, well, that makes, that makes sense to me. Although there are people around here who own Priuses, I see them around. This is the only insight, only first generation insight I know of in the entire area. So we get a lot of orders from around the Staunton area. Oh yeah. So I've been down there a good bit of times. You know, and that's uh, you, you drove by you drove by Stanton, and it's about 20 miles uh, northeast of here. Wow. Well, those are the big orange things. <laughs> it's almost, the cover is almost ready to come off at least. I 
right, and there is the battery. Wow. Have you ever seen one of these first generation insights retrofitted with lithium? No, I have not. Probably. I'm sure they're out there, but. Yeah. And each one of those squares you're unplugging, those are the packs, the battery packs. Now these here, these are the ECUs. Oh, yeah, that's like the brain units. Yeah, that's yeah. the brain of the hybrid system right there. Oh, okay. ECUs are out. <laughs> it stays clean in there, doesn't it? It does. Really sealed. Yeah, they do a good job of the design back here. <laughs> and for as much space as this takes up, you get a lot of a lot of trunk space for these, surprisingly. Yeah, I agree. Not very deep, but... No. That thing's torqued down. Oh yeah. You need an extension? Possibly. <laughs> Just about ready to come out. Making sure, th making sure everything cleared. Whoa. And that's it. <laughs> wow. Now the fan the motor off. is reused, right? Yes. Or the fan, I should say. And the duct, all that. You want to put it up on a, a cart, or are you okay like that? That'll be fine right here. Okay. It doesn't take long to do this part. Okay. Wow.
before it goes in. That's amazing. Just amazing. All I did was just shut this door to keep the, try to keep some of the air out. Yeah, look at that. Now the, the old battery pack that you're pulling out of the car, I mean you have on the floor here, and there's a new one in front of you. How much of this old one do you think will be reused? Um, or recycled in some way? I'd say every bit but the cells. Uh, oh, yeah. The cells themselves, huh? Yep, everything but the cells themselves. And we'll send these back to our Kansas City location and they'll run run tests on everything and see what's good and what's not and then they'll rebuild from there with the teslas they're mainly uh done by their own company uh they have service centers yeah we have um this one right by is actually in annapolis maryland oh and the reason for that is other companies aren't able to get the actual cells that they use yet and they're they're pretty new, so they the, are. Yeah, the maintenance or the warranty services like that on those cars—they're barely even coming out right now. It'll probably be within the next five to ten years. Then, the, then, then there'll be a lot of that. yeah, yeah. There'll be a lot of secondhand companies doing it for, and the maintenance I imagine is going to be mainly battery, the battery yeah, technology. That's it. That, yeah. I tell you, I just love the way 
all of this just looking at it, not all of the attachments the routing it's just really well thought out isn't it it is it all fits in there like a jigsaw puzzle and the order of everything is so important I mean, even the original electrical tape is in really good shape. <laughs> All right. Wow.